So the second way you can get more offers accepted is by offering a fast closing. Now, first of all, in order to be able to close fast, you've got to have an amazing relationship with your real estate attorney or whoever is doing your title searches and whoever your closing agent is that you can get on their schedule um, to get the deal closed. Now, if you are buying on terms, if you're buying on terms, you can close fast. I mean, you can close fast. Now, let me tell, let me tell you what I give all of our uh, potential sellers, FISBOs, off-market houses. We tell them in our offer that we can close in seven days. That's right, in seven days. None of the rest of your competition, in all probability, is going to be able to make that offer and stand behind it. In fact, another way that we get more offers accepted with this fast closing offer is we will say, if you're still in the house, you can stay in the house rent free for whatever period of time that we both agree upon. That's a huge, unique selling proposition or a unique buying proposition. I like being able to close fast within seven days, right? and give them their money. Now, there's another secret to that. When you're buying on terms, as I was saying, one of the big secrets to being able to close fast, I'm answering the question today, how to get more of your real estate offers accepted. I make my offers that I can close in seven days. Well, there's two ways that I can close within seven days. First of all, as I just said, we got to have a relationship with our real estate attorney to do the title search. I get all of my title searches done within 24 business hours, right? And as I said a moment ago, you can offer for them to stay in the house for free, rent free, uh, for whatever period of time that you agree upon. That will get more of your offers accepted. But let me share with you a very, very important point. And that is if you offer to give them their money, close within seven days, then do not give them all the money. Hold a portion, hold at least a thousand or two thousand dollars back from what they're going to be getting until they are out of the house and you've done a walkthrough and the entire house, you know, is all cleaned up. Unless you have made your offer that you're going to just buy it as is, if it's inherited property, they can just leave the stuff in the house. So you can close very, very quickly when you're buying on terms, only if you have that relationship with your real estate attorney to get fast um, title searches and to be able to get on their schedule very, very quickly. Now, if you're, you, if you're having to offer all cash, if you're having to offer all cash, well, you got to have the private money lenders lined up. I help real estate investors raise private money for their deals. So if you would like to have unlimited funding for your deals, regardless of what your background is, et cetera, but being able to get all the private money you would want, and I'm not talking hard money. I have got a brand new, just written hot off the press money guide that you can download absolutely for free and you can get it right now. It's titled seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate business and help you and build incredible wealth. Go right on over right now to www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide, and it will put you on the path to getting all the funding you need right now for your real estate deals. Get it at www.jayconner.com forward slash money guide. Download it right now.